Today, we're gonna to talk about what to do when you're trying to learn how to code, but you keep failing. Fobanova asks, is it possible for me to learn to code? Every day for the past few years, I wanted to have a career in coding. I wish I could code things like Java, Swift, and one I feel strongly about, Python. But I lose motivation and have self-doubt constantly, and every morning I get upset with myself that I didn't open a book and start learning. I guess what I'm asking is, is it still possible to learn and find a career? So there's a lot to unpack here, um, but let me give you the first part, which is, should be encouragement. Number one, without a doubt, 29 is not old, okay? So um, 29 is not too old to start learning how to code either. Um, we have plenty of people that come through our program that are 40 or even like 50 that come through to learn how to code. So like 29 is actually very young. And so I don't want you to be discouraged that you haven't reached your hopes and dreams at this point in life. And so I think you're looking around and seeing what other people are doing and, and you're comparing it to you. So let's stop looking at the past and let's look to the future of like, how do I get to where I want to be? And forget about all the failures that you've had up to this point. Um, let's look at what I have to do. So I think if I could read a little bit into your question is this, the learning style is what you're having a problem with. So you're trying to buy books and you're trying to learn from a book and what you need is a coach. Um, and so like you need a teacher or a coach or a mentor to teach you how to code. And so I get it. I run a boot camp and we teach people how to code and that's what we do. But I don't know where you live. I don't know where you're from. So you come to Coder Founder may not be an option for you. So just put that aside for a second and think about this. If you had a coach who could tell you the things, how to code, that would be a benefit. But the coach is going to help you more than anything to keep you motivated. So it looks like every day you're lacking some sort of motivation. And let me tell you, this isn't just you. This is probably, I would say, 80 to 85% of the people that come through our boot camp. Um, the reason they do that is because they need somewhere to be to do this. So you need an appointment, a place to be, a chair that you sit in that, that allows you to focus for that period of time to learn how to code. This means what you should look for is probably either a full-time immersive program or a part-time immersive program. Either one of those will do. Um, and then when you get there, you have to be there at you know, 9 a.m. or 6 p.m. at night or whatever, and you have to make that appointment. That means you set life aside, you set all the distractions aside, and you do that. The second part of paying for education is you're making an investment in yourself and that investment isn't going to be wasted. So like, you know that if you go in and blow these classes off, uh, that's on you and then you've wasted your money. So like that motivation is a really strong motivator to say, all right, I'm going to attend this class three nights a week or five days a week, whatever that is. But the benefit you also get is the teacher will, number one, keep you on track teach you the things that are relevant to the job place and teach you inside of a stack, which is, you know, our at our school, we're teaching .NET, ASP.NET, full stack web dev. Some schools teach Ruby, some teach Java, but they're going to keep you on a stack that you can take that and apply it to the workplace. So I think it's learning style more than anything. And I think that if you um, find a place where you can make an appointment for learning, and I think that would help you a long way to achieve some of your hopes and green, dreams. So to sum it up, quit looking backwards. Let's look forward. Not everyone, in fact, a very small percentage of people can actually learn programming just from a book, um, especially when you're new to this. And second, you should consider looking at um, a teacher, a mentor, or a coach, or some kind of boot camp that can help you get over this hump and get you into that career and that job that you want. So good luck and keep coding.